Okay, everyone, so this is problem number four from your homework set number seven. Let me read you the problem. It says, a cop investigating the scene of an, inc of an accident measures the length L of a car's skid marks in order to find out its speed V at the beginning of the skid. Express V in terms of L and any other relevant variables. And the answer ends up being in symbols. So there's no numbers that are given, but we do know that, or we're going to pretend like we know what L is, the length that it takes for the skid mark, so that's how long it takes a car to stop, how far it takes a car to stop. And we want to know the initial velocity that it's going at. Now we can assume because it stops at the end of that part, at the end of L, then the final velocity is going to be V. So this is starting to look like a kinematics problem where, let me say for four, four, where we know that our final velocity is going to be zero. Our initial velocity, well, it's going to be v. That's what we're looking for. Um, we know that the change in distance is l, and what we can probably find out is the acceleration. And the reason I say that is because we are going to be writing the answer in terms of the kinetic coefficient of friction, and that's going to have to do with the forces. So the forces always connect back to the acceleration. There's no, no real indication that we can figure out what the time is without actually going through and finding out the acceleration. So our goal is going to be to find an expression for the acceleration so that we can use these in a kinematic equation that involves these variables. And the one that doesn't have any time is v squared is equal to, well, I'll write it with f and i, vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2 times the acceleration times delta x. So if we, so we, once again, we want to find out what V is at the very beginning of the skid. And you have a car that's moving with some velocity. And then at the end of some distance, the velocity is zero. So it's moving this way, it starts slowing down, velocity is zero. And so we need to find out what this acceleration that it experiences is in order to figure out uh, how to solve this kinematic equation. And this acceleration is going to come from thinking about the forces that are acting on the car. So we need friction in order for it to, for the car to actually stop. So let's draw a free body diagram that's going to list all of the forces that are acting on it. And we're going to need friction acting in the direction opposite of the motion. This is going to be kinetic friction. And I also want to draw the normal force and the weight. The weight is the mass times the gravitational acceleration. And we don't know what the mass is. But we see that it doesn't really show up in the answer. And so Sometimes if, if they don't tell you the mass, a lot of times the mass ends up canceling out. So we're going to see that's going to happen. In this situation, because we're not accelerating up or down, the sum of forces in the y direction have to add up to zero. And that means that normal force has to cancel out with the weight, which means that these two have to be the same magnitude. Normal and weight have to be the same magnitude. And that's going to let us have a, an expression connect the friction force to things that are known, like g. So then we know that the frictional force is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. This is basically the definition of what the coefficient of kinetic friction is. And so that's, you know, so that's something that we can bring into the problem. And we know that the normal force in our situation is mg. So frictional force is going to be mu k times mg. And finally, if we consider the sum of forces in this direction, in the x direction, so I can say sum of forces in x is equal to mass times acceleration in x. Well, acceleration in x, I'm just writing it as a. And you know, if, let's say we wanted to be very strict with the signs, and we knew that this was positive direction, then we can say, okay, well, my acceleration is negative a, really. Times a mass, 
and I only have one force in that direction, it's this FK, and it goes in the negative direction. So I'm going to write negative FK. And when I plug in what I have for FK, I have negative mu K mg equals m times negative a. It can multiply by negative 1 on both sides. That's going to cancel out. So it'll be positive on the next one. And then the mass will also cancel out. So that's where your mass is canceling out. So it doesn't really matter what the mass of the car is. We're going to get the same answer. And a equals mu k g. So now we have the answer to this part up here. And we can actually put that into our equation. So once again, what we wanted to solve for is this initial velocity. So I'm going to bring this down. But I'm going to write in what I know, which is that the final velocity is 0. 0 squared is 0. The initial velocity is v plus 2. And I know that the acceleration is mu kg, mu kg, mu kg. And delta x, instead of writing delta x, we're writing l. And what we're looking for is v, so I'm going to move v over. Let's see. V, all right, V squared. And why do I, am I missing a negative sign? Acceleration is negative, frictional force is negative. Oh, right, because the acceleration is negative. So when I write the, okay, so let me explain this. The acceleration here is going to the negative direction, but I have it written as A. And so when I put it in here, this should be a negative A over here. So there should be a negative in front of here. And then finally, uh, if I move this over, it's going to be negative, negative 2 mu k g l. Negatives cancel, mu k g l. And if I take a square root, square root of 2 mu k GL. And that's what we have in our answer. 2 mu k GL. So the reason that that negative was really bothering me was because I knew I was going to take a square root and you cannot take the square root of a negative number and that's going to give you an imaginary number. But that wouldn't make any sense for this context for a velocity. Alright, so this is our answer and everything is in terms of symbols coefficient of friction, the acceleration due to gravity, and how far it takes to stop the car, the skid mark in this case. And we saw that the mass is canceled out. Awesome.